Front rear has an awning. Uh, this is the only the fiberglass poles I didn't replace because I didn't have the aluminum ones. The ones that I have for the wings are too thick. They didn't flex enough. And this fiberglass pole is broke. I think I have a repair kit with a little sleeve to put over it. Uh, so I can fix that. It's not a big deal. It's not life altering or anything. I do have a little step stool because with it on the 33s, the tent, you look, tailgate's about mid-thigh on me, um, 5'11", so it's pretty high off the ground. Just have a little step stool. Makes it easy for us short people. Doorway goes full open and unzips on the bottom as well. Come on in. You'll see the cutout for the air conditioner. Um, I'm not going to put that in there right now. It's you know it's heavy, but basically you just take the air conditioner, slide it in from this side, uh, and there's hooks and little straps that it comes with, and it just hooks into the floor, and your air conditioner will fill that hole perfectly. It's like a little seven or eight thousand BTU window unit, and it fits that hole like it was meant for it. And you just the support is the strap that hangs it from the floor above it. Um, if you don't want to use the AC unit, like if you're primitive camping or something like that, uh, we just hang a moving blanket. We put it underneath the air beds and stuff anyway. That way it, it just covers the hole. So if it gets cold, you keep the hole covered. If it's hot, you can open it. It's also got vents sewn into it here. You can unzip. It's got a little Velcro piece. And you prop it open. It's got a little stick that holds it in place. I don't ever use it. And then in the corner, you can see it has extension cord connection, and that's on both corners. Same vent. It's got a little pocket for you to uh, cell phone, whatever. Uh, as you can see, that's above my head. Uh, it's about seven feet up. I had a little stretchy cord in here with some clips so you can hang wet towels stuff like that. I wouldn't put too much weight I mean it is just suspended by the tie downs uh, but it definitely holds shorts t-shirts stuff like that swim trunks things of that nature all the windows unzip they're all screened in all zippers work there's no tears holes or anything like that windows in each wing of course uh, for si size perspective if I lay down oh, hold on. On the wing, like I said, I'm just under six feet tall. Uh, between the end of my feet, there's six or seven inches and maybe a foot above my head. So it holds a twin size airbed perfectly. And because the walls are vertical, you know they're about getting wet and all that good stuff in the morning when there's dew. Uh, the tent material itself, it's not like a Coleman tent, it's not that silk nylon, it's more like a Cordera. Uh, I sprayed it with a bug treatment from Sawyer, it's like a semi permanent. It was over a year ago, so it probably needs to be redone if you so desire. Uh, it's very heavy duty, not likely to tear. Uh, it's definitely waterproof. We've been in it in the rain, the water gets in here, anything like that. Um, there's little pockets on the windows on each side. So flashlight, wallet, keys, whatever you so desire. Yeah. Another uh, I, outlet thing right there. Yep. And I think that's about it for the tent. And then there's a pocket right there.